Hello, Jennifer and Juliet, Patton and Riley. This is Mimi. It's time to read another book with you. Today I decided to sit outside and it's a beautiful day. And so I'm sitting in my little secret garden to read this story to you. This is what one of Mimi's favorite books when she was little. And I read it to all three of my boys, Ryan and Eric and Zach also loved it. So anyway, this today, this book is called The Little Engine That Could by Wadi Piper. And I love this book because it's got a great message to it. You see the blue, the blue train engine right there? Look at that. Look at the train track. Very cool. All right, let's go. The little engine that could. Look at that. Cool train. Remember when we rode on Jennifer and Juliet? Remember when we rode on the train at the zoo? That was fun. All right, here we go. Chuck, 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 puff, 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 ding, dong, ding, dong. The little train rumbled over the tracks. She was a happy little train. Does she look happy? See, she has a smile on her face right there. For she had such a jolly load to carry. Her cars were filled full of good things for boys and girls. There were toy animals, giraffes with long necks, teddy bears with almost no necks at all, and even a baby elephant. Then there were dolls, dolls with blue eyes and yellow curls. Look, see the train going up over the bridge? Look at the elephant and the giraffes and the bears. It was full of dolls with brown eyes, brown bobbleheads, and the funniest little toy clown you ever saw. And there were cars full of toy engines, airplanes, tops, jackknives, picture puzzles, books, and every kind of thing boys and girls could want. Look, look at the dolls and the clown. Look at all that. Trucks and boats and airplanes. But that was not all. Some of the cars were filled with all sorts of good things for boys and girls to eat. Big golden oranges, red checked apples, bottles of creamy milk for their breakfast, fresh spinach for their dinners, peppermint drops, and lollipops for after meal treats. Yum. See the fruit? You like? I know you like apples and oranges. I've seen you eat them. What about spinach? Mm, I don't know. I like it. Candy and milk. Yum. The little train was carrying all these wonderful things to the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain. She puffed along merrily, then all of a sudden she stopped with a jerk. She simply could not go another inch. She tried but she, and tried, but her wheels would not turn. Oh no. See how cool the train is with the giraffe's head sticking out? Here she goes, but uh-oh, something's happening. She can't keep going. What were all those good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain going to do without the wonderful toys to play with and the good food to eat? Here comes a shiny new engine, said the funny little clown who jumped out of the train. Let us ask him to help us. So all the dolls and toys cried out together. Please, shiny new engine, won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Look at there. See the elephant and the bear and the monkey? They're hoping that this shiny new engine will help them go over the mountain. But the shiny new engine snorted. I pull you. I am a passenger engine. I have just carried a fine big train over the mountain with more cars than you ever dreamed of. My train had sleeping cars with comfortable berths, a dining car, waiters bringing whatever hungry people want to eat, and parlor cars in which people sit on soft armchairs and look out of big plate glass windows. I'll pull the likes of you, indeed not. That was not very nice. He was not going to help them and it made everybody very sad. And off he went. He steamed off to the roadhouse where engines live when they are not not are not busy. How sad the little train and all the dolls and toys felt. Then the little clown called out, the passenger engine is not the only one in the world. Here's another engine coming, a great big strong one. Let us ask him to help us. The little toy clown waved his flag and the big strong engine came to a stop. 
Please, oh please, Big Engine, cried all the little dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountains? Our engine has broken down, and the good little boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. The big, strong engine bellowed, I am a freight engine. I have just pulled a big train loaded with big machines over the mountain. These machines print books and newspapers for grown-ups to read. I am a very important engine indeed. I won't pull the likes of you and the freight engine puffed off. That is so sad. Another mean train did not stop to help them. Made everybody sad. He was very indignant to the and oh, he rode off indignantly to the roundhouse. The little the ant keeps getting me. The little train and all the dolls and toys were very sad. Cheer up, cried the little clown. The freight engine's not the only one in the world. Here comes another. He looks very old and tired, but our train is so little, perhaps he can help us. So the little toy clown waved his flag and the dingy, rusty old engine stopped. Please, kind engine, cried all the dolls and toys together. Won't you please pull our train over the mountain? Our engine has broken down and the boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. But the rusty old engine sighed. I am so tired. I must rest my weary wheels. I cannot pull even so little a train as yours over the mountain. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. And off he rumbled to the roundhouse chugging. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. Then... Indeed, the little train was very, very sad, and the dolls and toys were ready to cry. But the little clown called out, Here's another engine coming, a little blue engine, a very little one. Maybe she will help us. The very little engine came, chug, 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 merrily along. See the cute little engine. When she saw the toys, to when she saw the toy clown's flag, she stopped quickly. What is the matter, my friends? She asked so kindly. Oh, little blue engine, cried the dolls and the toys. Will you pull us over the mountain? Our engine has broken down, and the good boys and girls on the other side won't have any toys to play with or good food to eat unless you help us. Please, please, please help us, little blue engine. I'm not very big, said the little blue engine. They used me only for switching trains in the yard. I've never been over the mountain. But we must get over the mountain before children wake up, said all the dolls and toys. The very little engine looked up and saw the tears in the doll's eyes. And she thought of the good little boys and girls on the other side of the mountain who would not have any toys or food unless she helped. Then she said, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. And she hitched herself to the little train. She tugged and pulled and pulled and tugged and slowly, slowly they started off. The little toy clown jumped aboard and all the toys and toy animal, dolls and toy animals began to smile and cheer. Puff, puff, chug, chug, went the little blue engine. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Up, 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 faster and faster and faster and faster. The little engine climbed until at last they reached the top of the mountain. Down in the valley lay the city. Look, there they go, over the mountain. Look, look. Hooray, hooray, cried the funny little clown and all the dolls and toys. The good little boys and girls in the city will be happy because you helped us, kind little blue engine. And the little blue engine smiled and seemed to say as she puffed steadily down the mountain, I thought I could, 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 I thought I could. The end. Isn't that so sweet? None of those big, big mean trains would stop and help the dolls and toys get over that mountain. But the little blue engine that was the smallest of all was had the kindest heart and was willing to help them get to all the little boys and girls over the mountain. I love, love, love this story. 
This is a very old book written from way back when Mimi was little. I hope you enjoy it still today. I love you so much. I miss you more than you'll ever know. I hope I get to see you soon. Bye-bye.